What is good in your family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only NEO stock, what you should be looking out for for the future, and why today was a very important day for the stock market and why NEO might bounce very soon. And before I break anything down about some of the things Jerome Powell said, how this may affect NEO and the overall market, and what you should be watching for, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Make sure you take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire NEO community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Mumu and deposit 100 bucks into the account, you're guaranteed 5 free stocks. Plus, you'll also have free level 2 data with $0 in commissions for trading. It's a limited time offer. Offer ends in just one week. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. I'm actually recording this a few minutes before the market ends up closing, and so far I am seeing a promising sign for Neo, maybe a somewhat promising sign. I want to note though that I can't promise anything, I'm not guaranteeing anything, I can't always predict everything perfectly that happens in the stock market. It also depends on news, but based off this setup, I do think Neo is going to see a bounce very soon, a small one, uh, maybe not like way too tiny, but it's going to be medium to small before we do see a continuation of the downside. I'm going to break down exactly why I see this, how this could affect NEO, and what the data tells us first. But first, we have to talk about a couple of things. Basically, what happened to the market today. Jerome Powell was speaking today. He spoke at 12.40 p.m. Eastern Time. And when he spoke, the whole market went bananas. The market went crazy. Let me show you how crazy it was. When Jerome Powell was speaking... All right, on let me use the five minute chart just to show you the volatility. The market did this. Look how crazy this looks when he was speaking. We were at 410 on SPY. We all of a sudden explode to 415, then we crash to 407, then we run all the way back up. We're currently at 414. That's insane volatility. And what happened was the VIX was actually like trying to break out, and the VIX actually ended up not doing that. The VIX instead, uh, it failed to get the breakout. It did get rejected. So the market is still able to continue pushing. Apple's up to 154. The QQQ also, I think it filled this gap, but it's very close to doing so. QQQ looks strong as well. The uptrend is still there. So the point I'm trying to make is the market is not necessarily crashing as of right now. We do have some more room in my opinion. I did mention this as a possibility. And because of that, I just want to note that NEO does have some potential for a bounce. I'm going to show you exactly why in a couple of minutes. Why did the market react this way? Because Jerome Powell spoke and he ended up saying things about how this inflation is still on the table. He's not seeing it on the real estate sector just yet for the housing market, but he does believe it's going to come later. He also mentioned the fact that the market is not wrong to uh, be excited, but at the same time, they're not right. And that's because of the fact that the Fed cannot say anything with 100% certainty. They're going to adjust things based off their policies. Powell basically repeated the same things he said back during the FOMC meeting. He wasn't way too hawkish. He wasn't very dovish either. He did say the Fed is going to continue to tighten, but he did say lots of progress is being made. And he did actually fuel the soft landing narrative, which I honestly don't believe that. I don't believe there's going to be a soft landing, but because of the fact that he fueled it, the market still continued to move based off that. So obviously fundamentals are not really driving this market. They're not driving the pump right now, but it doesn't really matter, at least for the time being, because the market still has some more room. But going into like the longer term, the medium term over the next few weeks, it will matter once we start to see data that comes out like CPI. So I just wanted to note all of that. But it, the bottom line is Powell did not crash the markets. He did not cause NEO and a lot of stocks out there to crash. So we do have potential for a bounce, at least for NEO. I'm going to show you in just a minute. The volume is 30, min uh, 30 million. We're dropping on low volume, which tends to be a good sign because now we're not seeing as much selling pressure. The price pairs ratio is a little down. It might actually get a little bounce off this level, which means that Neo might start to improve a little bit. And 
I'm also seeing, let me see, on, on Wednesdays, Neo is actually, it's one of the best days of the week for Neo. Neo tends to be green about 56% of the time. We tend to perform very well during about the fourth hour of the day, and we tend to be a little bit slow in the beginning, so keep an eye out for that moment. I also want to note that the short interest has come down just a little bit. It's pretty stagnant right now, so it's not doing too much. And as far as the data goes, we basically just have Fed speakers coming out, some real estate data for the week, and then jobless claims. Nothing too big is coming out until next week when we have CPI coming out. And then for earnings, not too much coming out except for like Disney and PayPal. We do have other big companies, but those are the two main ones. I don't consider anything else extremely significant other than those two, especially compared to last week. Now, Neo did put this on their Twitter page. I did mention this yesterday. They're improving their partnerships with the EU's Horizon Europe Research and Innovation Program. So very awesome to see. I'm very proud of Neo for that fundamental improvement. But now I want to break down what's going on with the chart. So I am seeing some very good potential. And let me show you exactly why. First off, let's talk about the bearish possibility. Neo had this critical zone right here between this 10.6 to 10.8 area. Neo managed to hold it. We got a really, really nice hold right over there. And if it broke below 10.6 and actually like fell really hard below it, this thing would have crashed pretty hard and gone for the gap fill all the way down to the lower 10s. That would have happened pretty quickly if we failed in this level I highlighted. Yes, we touched 10.5, 6. Yes, it happened, but we got a quick bounce almost immediately after. Neo started pushing a little bit after that. And we did come down because of Jerome Powell speaking. So that's kind of like a, a bit of a difference because the market came down kind of hard. It really shows how the market does affect how Neo moves. And I am anticipating the market's going to get another push up. Am I promising it? No, but I think it's very possible. Okay, but just in case... Just in case we're bearish, if there's a bad piece of news, guys, watch 10.6, 10 uh, 10 sorry, uh, if we break below 10.6, if Neo fails here and it actually like it's a strong break below it, you can see right here, yes, we broke below it like temporarily, but, but we immediately got bought right back up. So it didn't actually get a strong break below it. Instead, if we break and hold below 10.6, Neo is going to come crashing down to the low 10s. Do not forget that. Okay, very important. But if Neo, and we're actually trying to hold 10.8, another zone I mentioned, if we get a balance and we start breaking above 10.8, there's a little resistance around 11, but I could see us getting back up to 11.3 or even higher than that, depending on tomorrow. I do think the market has some more room to keep going though. So now let's break down Neo. I also mentioned to you guys in one of my previous videos that up here, we had this head and shoulders like formation, the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder, and it all basically formed, we could just ignore this candle right here, because this was a glitch that happened, I'm sure you guys remember that a couple of days ago, but we do have this head and shoulders that formed, it actually ended up playing out, and I think that this whole formation was just a giant head inside of a larger head and shoulders that's developing so it's like a head and shoulders within a head and shoulders so this was the uh, head and shoulders that developed but this whole formation is the head and then we have a left shoulder right here i'm sure you guys could see it i'm sure some of you noticed it at the very beginning so i believe that we're most likely going to see this end up playing out i believe what's happening is we're, we're hitting a very important level if like I said before, if we break below 10.6 and we fail because of bad news, yes, we're going to be crashing down to 10, the low 10s. But if we bounce, and so far we're bouncing, just like how we bounce right here, we're almost forming like a double bottom right here, which means we could get a big reaction to the upside from this end. Now, this is telling me that we're likely going to see the head and shoulders play out. We have the left shoulder, we have a head, we're just missing the right shoulder. And that means Neo is likely going to get a rally back to 11.8, maybe trade sideways there for just a couple of days before we come right back down. I am predicting that being the most likely possibility. We also have the gap down, uh, I'm sorry, up here around 11.19. We might fill this gap and come all the way up to about 11.8. And I think we have a very nice looking setup. It's very beautiful. We're holding up quite well. So once again, we have, just to draw this out for you guys, we had this left shoulder forming right here 
Then we have this head, this giant head that formed. And now I, I believe we're about to form another one of these, just like this. Come all the way back up to 11.8 if we do get the bounce. And why could we bounce? Maybe because of good news, also because of the market. I think the market might help Neo push up before we end up coming right back down. Maybe because of FOMC or something. Not FOMC, sorry, the CPI report or something. It kind of aligns with CPI, the like downturn. That could be the thing that starts to drag Neo right back down. We are going to likely continue to downtrend like this. All right, so that's what I'm seeing. The gap fell down here. All right, so I, I'm seeing a very clean looking setup. This could end up playing out. I think this is the most likely possibility, but please watch the levels and make sure you're prepared just in case things don't work out as we think they will. Okay, so I can't promise anything. I'm not some kind of like magician that knows everything that's going to happen, but I just wanted to note this. I wanted to show this to you to bring some value into your guys' lives and help you see what many others may have not seen. All right, so I think this is what's going to play out. We have the left shoulder here, the head, and now I think we're going to form one right shoulder. That's why we should get a bounce tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, I think it's very likely that's going to happen. And we, we should peak around 11.8 over the next couple of days, maybe see some sideways action there before we come right back down and start filling the gap here. And there's also another gap, I think, a little lower somewhere. I don't know, I could be wrong. But anyways, I'm seeing a formation like this. So I just want the best for everyone. Jerome Powell did not crash the markets. In fact, the markets kind of pumped after he spoke, which is pretty funny. So please be ready. Do what you have to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.